I could be your angel, dear room. Would you wake up if I asked you to wake? He that hath an ear, let him hear. Prophecies abound, revelations. And I will use the words of revelation to show you the greed of mankind. And how this greed has tortured men and brings us to the end of the prophecy. At the end, there were voices of 10 million angels heard round the throne. I heard a voice like thunder, he shouted, come and see. I saw a rider on a white horse, hell bent on conquest. Then I saw a black horse, its rider holding a pair of scales. I heard him say, a quart of wheat for a day's wages, but do not damage the oil. Then I saw a fiery red horse. This rider was given power to take peace from the earth and make men slay each other. And I saw before me a pale horse. The rider was named Death. Hell followed close behind him. Hell and destruction. Big sugar, big oil, big tobacco, big pharma. Horsemen given power of a fourth of the earth To kill by poison, pain, plague, greed, and addiction This ain't no technological breakdown This is prophecy of the road to hell The first angel sounded his trumpet There came hell fire Mixed with mud was hurled down on the earth. A third was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet. A huge mountain all ablaze. The sea turned into blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died. The third angel sounded his trumpet. A great star named Wormwood fell. Blazing like a torch, it fell from the sky. A third of the waters turned down. This ain't no technological breakdown. You know, this is prophecy of the road to hell. A fourth angel sounded his trumpet. A third of the sky was struck. The sky turned dark, the day turned into night. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet. Large locust wings made the sound of thunder. Their face resembled humans. The sting had the power to torment. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet. It said release the four angels bound at the river. The troops numbered 200 million, ready for Armageddon. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon devil and his forces were strong. The ancient serpent called the devil comes to lead the whole world astray. The media has become the heart of Babylon, controlled by the ultra rich. The greedy devil lizard deceives the masses. <laughs> this ain't no technological breakdown. <laughs> this is prophecy, the road to hell. The merchants of the earth will weep and moan. No one buys their cargoes anymore. There's too much sale of weapons, drugs, addiction, and people. The elder rich will say fruit you long for is gone. 
All your luxuries and splendor are gone. Honest merchants weep and mourn and cry out. The altar rich laugh at us. The beast armies will be defeated. Along with all the sea deceived. The beast and the false prophet cast into a lake of fire and brimstone. This ain't no technological breakdown. No. This is prophecy, the road to hell. Mankind, find a way to forgive us. Greed has brought us to this road to hell. To this road, to the road of hell. Big sugar kills us slowly. Take it, eat it in your mouth. It's sweet as honey. It turns your blood sour. Disease increase from its use. Big tobacco kills millions for profit. It addicts the young, sexual insecure. A third of mankind was killed by the smoke coming out of their mouth. Big oil. Breeds Big Pharma. The cold corporations control the minds of the masses. All is twisted. All is distorted. Profit over people. I saw the beast worship the dragon. The devil gave the power over the beast. Blasphemy came out of his mouth. He put on all the number 666. If man can conquer his greed and anger and hatred and face his false money, we can have a millennium of peace, harmony, beauty and purity. Let me try to bring this story, these words, these ancient words, to life for you and give you an idea of the power. Revelations prophecy. It can happen. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that old lizard devil, bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the abyss. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. There were loud voices in heaven. And they said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of heaven. But him that has an ear, let him hear. Become one of the ten million voices, one of the angels, circle round the throne. The Bible is written by men inspired by God. Revelations the movie, starring Desiree Dubonnet, Audrey Nesbitt, Brad Pomerantz. This is the revelation, my friend. God is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. What was, what is, and what will be. Blessed is he who hears this revelation. Blessed are those who take this revelation to heart because, my friend,
I saw seven angels with seven trumpets. And then when the first angel blew the trumpet, there was hail, there was fire. And a third of all the trees, a third of all the grass, Have you not heard of global warming? <laughs> the second angel blew the trumpet. And a great mountain burning with fire goes to the sea. The third angel blows the trumpet and a star falls from heaven. The name of that star is called Wormwood, and the waters turn bitter. The fourth angel sounds the trumpet, and a third of the sun, a third of the moon, a third of the stars are dark. Metropolises are built, and the smog, the pollution, clouds the sky, and dims our light. The fifth angel blows the trumpet, and at the sound of the trumpet, a key appears. And from the bottomless pit appears smoke, and the smoke rises from the earth, and it is a smoke of locusts that devour the crops. It was commanded then that no man shall hurt the grass. No man shall hurt the trees. Nothing green shall be hurt by man. And man, did man keep this commandment? Oh, no. Not at all. You see, the forests fall. Brazil is but a fraction of what it was. And the oxygen on this earth runneth. Oh, the sixth angel. Yes, the sixth angel. <laughs> Sounds the trumpet. And the army of the horsemen increases to 200,000. And as the sixth angel blew the trumpet, a third of all humanity dies with smoke 
coming out of their mouths. So you ask, crazy is it? Well, let us talk frankly for a moment, okay? does not come out of the mouths of human beings, you say. You are but a stupid Johnny Glitter. Well, let me tell you, Johnny Glitter I may be, but I have been here, remember, in the past, in the present, and I shall come in the future too. John, I am a messenger, nothing more. So you think it's crazy? How many people die from cigarette smoke? Who would have ever thought that this was something that was taken beyond personal choice? You think you have the choice to smoke, not to smoke? <laughs> My friend, you have to be one enlightenment, enlightened motherfucker to get away from this one. Maybe the government, the FDA, the medical profession, the pharmaceuticals, those that grow the tobacco, big tobacco, those that grow sugar, those that grow and manufacture chemicals with synthetics are all behind this. All behind this. They pretend, they pretend to ban all sorts of commercials. They could pretend to ban advertising. And yet they advertise. And yet they push it. And they push it. Oh yes, they deflect our interest. They say, look, look, and you're going to find the drug pushers, the one that goes and wants to go to the school and push drugs. What do they do? When you go to the doctor and you say, I have fever. I'm sick. What happens? Does he look at you? Does the doctor examine you? Well, maybe one out of every ten. What do the others do? They write a script. They light up a cigarette. And they say, go on, take these pills. Go to bed. Enjoy your day. And you'll get better. Ah, <laughs> yes. A third of all human beings. Wiped out! Wiped out, you fuckers! You wipe them out, and then you say it's not true! <laughs> Come to me again. have fit many times, many places, but today, definitely white sugar could be the white horse of conquest. The red horse, big tobacco. The black horse, big oil. And the pale horse could be big pharma. These really do constitute major, major threats to the existence of humanity. These Goliaths that lie and attack people who stand in their way really make a problem is that they all put profit over people. Profit over people could make the demise of the human race. Angels will be seen by everyone. Everyone on earth, in the corners of all the world, angels will be seen literally flying, preaching unto men. What a sight. What a moment. All I ever really wanted to do was just be a scientist. But then I started to see more in life. I became a famous singer and an owner of a famous nightclub in Budapest. There's a man going round taking names And he decides who to free and who to blame Everybody won't be treated all the same 
There'll be a golden ladder reaching there When the man comes around The hairs on your arm will stand up At the terror in each hip and in each top Will you partake of that last offered cup? Oh, disappear into the potter's ground When the man comes around Hear the trumpet, hear the piper One hundred million angels singing Multitudes are marching to that big kettle drum Voices calling, voices crying Some are born and some are dying It's our fire in Omega's kingdom come And the whirlwind is in the golden tree The virgins are all trimming their wings The whirlwind is in the golden tree It's hard for thee to kick against the bricks Shalom again, no shalom, no shalom Then the father hen will call his chickens home The wise man will bow down before the throne And at his feet they'll cast their golden crown When the man comes around Whoever is unjust, let him be unjust still Whoever is righteous, let him be righteous still. Whoever is filthy, let him be filthy still. Listen to the words long written down. When the man comes around, hear the trumpet, hear the pipers. One hundred million angels singing. Multitudes are marching to that big kettle drum Voices calling, voices crying Some are born and some are dying It's our fire in Omega's kingdom come And the whirlwind is in the thorn tree The virgins are all trimming their wigs The whirlwind is in the thorn tree It's hard for thee to kick against the pricks In measured hundred weight in penny pound When the man comes around Thirteen verse one And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. The Antichrist comes from a world of finance, money, power. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Professor Azteca, thank you so much for joining us. What did your research inform you about Desiree Dubonnet and the prophecy? Well, the ancient Greeks believed that uh, God first made man and woman in one. Hmm. And these hermaphrodites were so psychologically stable that God got angry. Hmm. And he split them into male and female. Hmm. At times of incredible turmoil, the hermaphrodite will return. 
and return to bring us a thousand years of peace and harmony. So you're sure that this hermaphrodite is Desiree Dubonet? Positive. You're sure? Because good hermaphrodites are hard to find, you know. God, a hermaphrodite is as hard to find as an honest Christian. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Or a cold day back at my place. The ancient Mayans predicted Desiree as the hero twins. <laughs> The Japanese, the Chinese, and the Hindu have all predicted Desiree's existence. But the angel is supposed to be a knight of the Templar. Desiree was made the knight of the Templar in 1988. And what about the bloodline that Desiree is related to Admiral Nelson? Completely verifiable. Desiree is the one. I heard you talking earlier about vampires. And you can crush a man's skull. How do you know? Mm. And you don't have to be that strong. You want to try? Well, let's go meet Dr. Martin then, shall we? Yeah, I'm sure one of these has got his name. You on. don't even have to know that this is going. We always find ways to pull these weeds out of our garden before they get too big. But if it will put your little mind at ease, I'll have him looked into. I think you should. He could be more dangerous than any man in the alternative industry. The this man of God. has a clarity of mind. This man has a like clarity of mind. This man has a clarity of I mind. Think. This man has a clarity of mind. I know by which they call you. The Buddhists call you. Maitreya. The Hindu call you Krishna. The Islam call you Mahdi. And then the Hinga for the Bantu. And Hermaphrodite. Those ancient Greeks. They were perverts, you know. That's why I like them so much. And the Habs. Who, who I have will destroy you. Do you know why I don't kill you now? It'd be too easy. I get more entertainment value from you watching the media take you down. Because the media, the FDA, and the governments in power will take you down. And I will sit, and I will eat popcorn, and I will watch your demise, and I will consider it a comedy. You will not defeat me, Desiree Dubonnet. This will be one prophecy proven false. Money is not everything. Money is everything. There's one thing more powerful. That's an idea whose time has come. What I'm about is giving people new ideas, giving people hope. Because I believe, and I have faith in the good in people. I have faith in the greed, in the delusion, in the helplessness in people. I will send you now back to your world, your false world and a prophecy. And we will meet again. I took a ride, I didn't know what I would find there Another road where maybe I could see another kind of mind there Ooh, and I suddenly see you Ooh, and I tell you I need you Every single day of my life You didn't run, you didn't lie You knew I wanted just to hold you had you gone
Desiree, so we meet at last. It's time we have a little talk. I think we need to talk about life. So what did I do to you? What's the problem? The Eva Otherich has sent me. I come to tell you. The whole world wants to kill Desiree. The born-again Christians are angry. We don't like the message. We want to shoot the messenger. So then I had a life of persecution. Prosecution, trying to escape the claws of the evil ultra rich. As they wanted me dead, they didn't want my message to be given to the world. I had several messages to give to the world. I had to fight, I learned to fight, to preserve the message, and to save the planet Earth. Many people don't like the message, they want to shoot the messenger. And for a long time I've stood up against false beliefs in the world, false beliefs about the little head, big head, false beliefs about synthetic pharmacology being an insult to the body. sugar interferes with health, etc. How the entire system of allopathy has created a problem and has spent mass amounts of money creating more diseases than it cures. I've had many, many messages and I've given them to the people and for that I've been hated, persecuted, hated by the people who do muscle testing when I prove that muscle testing was wrong. synthetic drugs when I proved that they were an insult to the body, hated by many people. And this created more and more of a problem, and they decided to attack and try to shoot the messenger, rather than deal with the message.
So I had to travel the world, different disguises, to try to find my way. And what could I do to help influence, and get the message across, in all the different ways, and how could I be able to protect myself from the evil of the rich? <laughs> All of these things have led to incredible actions against me and my family. But still, I've stayed strong, stayed on focus, to try to give the message and to try to get people to deal with their greed, deal with their anger, deal with their hatred, deal with their xenophobia, deal with their discrimination, and to face their false beliefs. It's what my message has been all about. book of Islam, the Quran, tells us that when the followers of the sons of Mary, Jesus, when the followers of him forget his teachings and worship him like an idol, that is a sign of the end, that is one of the signs of the revelations. You see, they have forgotten the teachings. And Jesus was a teacher, and as a teacher, he taught us so much. And there's problems about who he was, what he was. But the one thing that is inarguable is that he was a teacher, and he taught us ways to be, to love and to care, and how to be in this world. And that is the truest energy of what teacher is. And that is the truest energy of what Jesus is. It's an insult. We forget the teaching. To remember the name of the teacher and forget his teachings is a problem. To remember the name of the teacher and forget his teachings that are most important. It's an insult. In the words of Jesus, the teachings that are most through important. Through the works. In the words of Jesus, get to heaven. It is through the it works. It's not just the belief of one to get to heaven. It is not just the belief. It is not just the belief. It is in the day-to-day -day actions that determine who and what you are. That is the truest of all the teachings. And many people have hated me for that as well. They want to worship just the name. They want to be able to go through life and to rape, pillage, and steal, and lie, and cheat, and commit adultery, and then just simply believe in the name. That's not the teachings. It's a false belief. When I try to get them to confront that, I want to try to shoot the messenger. I lived in Eastern Europe and traveled the world and became a photo model, among other things. And finally, I recognized that I needed to train because God would need me in many different ways. So I had to train my body, train my mind to become the angel of God and be able to help to save the world and be ready for anything in the battle.
Butch Dean story again, CNN News. Folks, it's getting worse minute by minute. Thank God President Lincoln isn't here to see this. We're at civil war. Out in the streets, it's the whites, the Hispanics, the blacks. Every underprivileged person is fighting with anybody that has anything. It's disaster out there. They didn't want to do equal economic education as proposed by Desiree DuVernay. And so the results now are war in the streets. War in the streets. It's just everybody that doesn't have anything fighting with anybody that has anything. The bullets are flying. More in the next update. Thanks for watching. Dean Story, CNN. Good evening, folks. This is Dean Story, CNN, reporting to you from high up in Boulder, Colorado. The environmental impact has been worse than anybody ever imagined. When the Larson ice cap broke loose in Antarctica, the seas rose over one meter, and Florida is gone. There's 120 million refugees right here in the United States alone. I'm coming to you from Boulder, Colorado, because it's one of the few places we have operating stations left. It's just a disaster. The rising temperatures in some part of the world, the shortages of water, it's just beyond what anybody ever would have believed. Florida is completely gone. New York is gone. I don't know what's going to be. Well, stay tuned for more news. This is Dean Story, CNN. Thanks for watching. Good evening, uh, folks. This is uh, Dean Story, once again, CNN reporter. You know, with uh, things getting as bad as they are, the blame has to be placed on someone. And I've been told to report to you the governments of the world are blaming Desiree DuVernay for the calamities that have befallen the entire planet. Now, I don't know that this is true. I know Desiree DuVernay. She's a friend of mine. But the governments are placing the blame squarely on Ms. DuVernay. Things are getting worse minute by minute out there. I, I don't know how much longer the world can survive. Stay tuned for further updates. Signing off for now, Dean Story, CNN News. Well, the news is rather grim for the economy here in the U.S. of A. I'm afraid that due to people's hesitancy and uh, their disillusionment with the pharmaceutical companies, that they are on the verge of bankruptcy. It's a terrible, terrible thing for the economy for the United States of America. However, things are rather good in England. So, how can I compare this? We went to Eton and Oxford and Cambridge, and they went to... L.A. High. Reginald Compton reporting from Los Angeles. Another drink. Here from Boulder, Colorado. You might recall a year ago, I gave you the information that the Larsen ice shelf in Antarctica had broken off. It has since melted, raising the sea level by a meter. This may not sound like much, but let me put it into perspective. Florida is underwater. My own beloved London is underwater. 200 million people around the world are displaced, starving. Global warming has caused hurricanes, flash floods, fires, devastation. Mother Earth is in pain. Reginald Compton. Sky News, Boulder, Colorado. You see, friends, 
For thousands of years, people saw me in all my forms. And now see me again, here as Johnny Glitter. They thought I was crazy, stark, raving, mad. How could I have possibly thought that a third of all humanity would die with smoke coming out of their mouths? How indeed. And so we come to the seventh angel blowing the seventh trumpet. And the angel giveth you a book, a book that you eat, and it is sweet in your mouth and bitter in the belly. Confused? What do we read that we eat? What do we hear and see that we eat on a daily basis? Well, let's just think for a moment. We eat the news. We eat the news on TV. We eat the news on radio. We eat the pills that come from the scripts that the doctors write. We eat the news about the third of humanity that dies from smoke. We smile, we cry, we laugh, but we eat it. And we think it's sweet, because we think, oh, but we are informed. Oh, but at least they tell us. Oh, but they are honest. Oh, but they show us the news. Reginald Compton, Sky News reporting from L.A., Los Angeles. Well, there's a certain case of civil unrest here in the United States of America. Years ago, Desiree Dubinet proposed equal economic education, meaning that the haves and the have-nots would be equal. Everyone should go to school. Everyone should get a proper education. But did the Americans listen to Desiree? I'm afraid not. So now, major civil unrest, riots in the streets, the haves don't want to give anything to the have-nots. It's the haves against the have-nots, which we really know means the back the Hispanics against the whites. Terrible situation here in America. If only, if only they would learn from Desiree Duvernay. What can I say? Reginald Compton, Los Angeles. How many people are in control of what we eat from this book? Four, maybe five. Or was it six? Why is it called the seventh angel? <laughs> think, my friends, think. When you next pick up a newspaper, when you next hear the radio, when you next look at the TV, how sweet it is to be fooled by you. How bitter it is to have to vomit it all out again. Oh yes, it is this seventh angel you have to look out for. But my friends, do not despair. It is not all over. As the seventh angel blows the seventh trumpet, yes, there is an earthquake. But there are a hundred million angels, ten thousand times ten thousand angels, that begin to wake, that begin to rub the sleep from their eyes, that begin to listen, that begin to become aware. Now it isn't that many. A hundred million, think about it, my friends. Not even a tenth of the population of this globe have a desire, a desire to understand. And who shall be there to meet this desire?
coincidence? I think not. Reginald Compton, Sky News reporting here from Boulder, Colorado once again. I've been talking lately, giving you the news about the destruction and devastation that's ravaged Mother Earth, the economic collapse of the United States of America, the civil unrest which is spreading through the entire world. Well, the world has gotten together on one commonality. They are blaming this all on Desiree Dubonnet. Every situation has to have a scapegoat, and it appears it is she. Reginald Compton, Boulder, Colorado, Sky News. Watching the media take you down, because the media, the FDA, and the governments in power will take you down. And I will sit, and I will eat popcorn, and I will watch your demise, and I will consider it a comedy. And who shall be there to meet this desire? Coincidence? I think not. Desire is Desiree. Desiree is delicious. Delicious is Dubonnet. And my friends, there is no accident. D, D, D. Hey, Rich, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Dean. I'm doing very well. Well, I'm doing well, but the world certainly is a messy state, isn't it? What do you, what do you think of all this, this Desiree Dubonnet business? Well, by the way, I caught your uh, broadcast that Mother Earth in Pain was some line. That's a good one. It's the way it feels sometimes. It just comes to you, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the Desiree story goes like this. I know Des. Okay, because I'm not familiar with the woman. No, at all. this is a good person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, upstairs made me slant the story the way they wanted to hear it. I know exactly how you feel. Yes, yes. I, I, I have to do the same thing. I don't necessarily agree with everything that I say on the telly. Well... But I had, no, I had no choice in the matter. None, what's you None at all. They told me point blank, you want a pension? Get out That's there. That's true. I did see your report, and it was a little, seemed a little slanted. Well, Desi's a good person. Desi's made a lot of good changes. They're just dumping all this on her. It has nothing to do with her. There always, has listen. To be, always has to be a scapegoat, hasn't there? Well, blame somebody for anything, anything. Why don't we blame who really is at fault? The pharmaceutical companies. Well, the money people. The money people. Sure. The money it's always people. the money people. But they run the world, they ruin the world. Frankly, I need a pension. You know, I'm the end of my career. If we're lucky, if, if we're lucky and the world still survives, we might get a pension. I don't think there's going to be much left, to tell I you the truth. I must say, I'm a little freaked out. I think it's very close to Armageddon. I hope you're wrong. I hope, I hope it doesn't get any worse, but it's not looking good. Let's go get drunk. So, by the way, you are going to the Caesar Neron party, the affair there, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Wouldn't miss it for the oh, world. It's a big deal. It's uh, Anyone who's anyone will be there, quite frankly. I wonder what they're going to make me say about this one. I have no idea. Well, I, I, luckily, sometimes I can just wing it. But sometimes it's, no, 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 say this. Point your finger at that person. Well, there's no truth in news anymore. We all know that. I haven't believed it myself for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We'll have a good time at the party. Yeah, be a lot of negative, but good people there. Champagne, and I guess. Um, the little makeup girl that works at your station, is she coming in? Rosie? Oh, you like her, huh? Rosie. Well, I'll put in a word for you. Thank you. All right. Well, good night. Oh. And the Antichrist causes all, great and small, rich, poor, free, and bond, to receive the mark of the Antichrist on their hand or on their forehead, so that no man can buy or sell if he doesn't have the mark, the number of the beast. Revelations 13, number one. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise from the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and his heads were blasphemy. And the beast and his seal and the great authority, and I saw one of his heads as if it was wounded to death, and the deadly wound that it healed, and the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped that dragon, that wizard, that devil, which gave power to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with that beast? 
and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things. Blasphemies, power given unto them, continued for 42 months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme God's name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And that was the beast. And he gathered them together into a place co called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon and was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And the power was given him over all the kindred tongues and nations. And all that dwell on the earth shall worship that beast, and names are written in the book of the life of the Lamb slain for the foundations of the world. And if any man hath an ear, let him hear. Hear the wisdom and the understanding. For the number of the beast is the number of a man. His number is six hundred three score and six. Six, six, six. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are spirits of devils working false miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole world to gather them unto the battle of that day. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watched and keepeth his garments lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place in the Hebrew tongue, known as Armageddon. Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, This is done. Reginald Compton with Sky News. I have to report that this beautiful place, the Sinai Peninsula, once a wonderful resort area, is now on the very brink of the world destruction. The armies of the world have amassed and are converging at this point here, right now. Any moment, this could very well be Armageddon. And I am Armageddon out of here. Not really that funny.
Revelations 1821. Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of the harpers, musicians, and the pipers, and the trumpeters shall be heard no more in thee. And the craftsmen, whatsoever craft they have, shall be no more in thee. And the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more. And the light of the candle shall shine no more in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more in thee. For the merchants of the great men of the earth, for the sorceries of all the nations that deceived, and in them found blood of prophets and saints, and all that were slain upon the earth. It's Dean's story again, CNN News. It looks like the Bible may have told the story too, too well. Here we are at the Sinai Peninsula, and although you know me as the news anchor, I am now the war correspondent due to the untimely death of my former associate. And here today, it may be just a moment or two, hours, no more than a day or two before Armageddon. Yes, the Bible foretold this, and I'm afraid to bring you the news. It's now at hand, right here at the Sinai Peninsula. More news in the short future. Signing off for now, Dean Story, CNN News. Reginald Compton, back with Sky News. Things are worsening here in the Sinai Peninsula. I didn't think it was... I didn't think it was possible, but revelations could very well have been right. It is Armageddon. This will be the end. I believe this will be my, my final broadcast. I would just like to say, I love you, Margie. I wish I was home. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Revelations 19, 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of the heaven, Come and gather themselves unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of the kings, and the flesh of the captains, and the flesh of the mighty men, and the flesh of the horses, and them that sitteth on them, and the flesh of all men, but free shall be the great. And I saw the beast, and the king of the earth, and the armies gathered together to make war against him, and sat there, and great his army. Correspondent, and I've got the worst news in my career to report. The latest news that I've been given, folks, is we're about to have a nuclear war, the war to end all wars. I don't know how to say this any better. Could be minutes, could be a few hours. I think it's the end of the world. The news I've been given is that we're definitely going to have a nuclear war any minute. 
stay tuned for newer updates. Goodbye, everybody. Dean Story signing off. Well, we are so pleased, Desiree, to invite you on to my boat. Evidence that greed is good, greed is great. Of course, your son and the three ladies are not here. We'd never include them. Why keep the bargaining chips in your reach? You better behave, lady. And, of course, we're on our way to my birthday party. Further evidence that greed is great, greed is good. Don't you mess greed. with me, lady. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Could be our last Come meal, on. Desiree. See, I know that you are wise in many ways. In fact, you have perfected. And you have the knowledge of not feeble pain yourself. But... Now, Desi, oh, I know that you have the wisdom to control pain when it is inflicted on you. But I also happen to know that you cannot take it when pain is inflicted upon those that you love. When you see, when pain is inflicted upon your loved one. Mm -hmm. So watch, watch, I knew. There you see, so as I said before, time will tell. Mm. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. How do you like that? I have a fucker for one car. How do you like it? There's no way that you, a little man, can deal with mine. Never! Do sure you understand now what is going to happen? Do you? Do you understand what's going to happen? We shall see. As I told you, time will tell. Ah, uh, this is beautiful! <laughs> come on, beautiful. kill. Look Let at that, Desiree Dubonet. I want her dead. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, harder! Come on! Harder! For these men, nothing for these men. Watch. Oh, you see, I was right. You cannot watch the pain when it is your loved one. <laughs> Come on, no mercy! Come on, look at this. Oh, I love every. Come on! Put the crap out of him! Look at the camera, Look at where you have Your eyes, there you go, that's it. Alright, where is she? I wanna see Desiree right now! Justin. I wanna kill her, I wanna fucking kill her. Where's that bitch? Get it to me right now! Just, Justin, relax. Timberlake, it's okay. She's coming to the party tonight. What party? How about my birthday party! Great as good! You'll be there, don't right, worry! Fine. I'm gonna be there, and I'm gonna see her tonight. Can I kill her? I wanna kill her. Don't worry, she will be gone. You're protected, Timberlake. Justin, don't worry. Fine. We've got everything covered. Don't... Just relax. Come on, do another move, Just. Come Fine. On. Yeah. I'm gonna see you tonight. I like that kid. Yeah, he's not bad. I like him. I he's like not him. Bad. Hey, hey, man. Good Everything to is see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I got. I'm done with Hollywood. I mean, you're the reason why. Nigeria is a go. Nigeria is a go, and you know what? We can do it for a hundredth the price of Hollywood. Hollywood is dead. We don't and greed is good, my friends. <laughs> sir and sir, Hollywood is dead. Guys, we got the teeth, we got the asses. Yes. It's gonna be perfect. Nigeria, I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. Ingenious. And it's much, much more cheaper. Ingenious. Sir and sir, I can tell you, when Nigeria's a go, we're gonna be making movies for one hundredth of what it costs in Hollywood. What they can do for a hundred million, we can do for a million, and it's just going to keep getting lower and lower, and our profits are getting higher and higher. Like, actors, we're not going to have to pay them anymore. We've got Jimmy Stewart in the can. We've got everybody in the can. The Marlon Brando, we can pull them out like that. It costs us absolutely nothing, and yeah. it's going to get even cheaper. All yeah. computer-generated using computer geniuses from Nigeria. I to see that, man. What more could we ask for? Well, you two are about to earn your worth. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? I can't wait to count it. Beats killing you. Oh, I love yeah. her. Thank you, sir. I love her. To greed? To greed. To greed. To success. To, to money. success. To yachts. To drinking. To women. To everything. To tits. To ask the and better tits than us in Hollywood. Can you give us? The same. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. Smell the money now. To Nigeria. Right. Okay. I'm done. It's knocking on the door. We're done with you. I'm done. <laughs> We're done with you. To Nigeria. Nigeria. <sighs> and money. What will we do with this money? What will we do with all this money we've saved? We'll amass it. We'll keep it. We'll make it grow. I Hi, this is Gordon Sparks, live from Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, where we are going to the party of the century, hosted by none other than well, the world's most loved, most famous man on the planet, Caesar Neron. This is definitely the party not to miss, and everybody who's anybody will be here tonight. Oh, we got the people coming down the carpet. It's so exciting. I'm just so happy to be here. And there's our host right there coming down the carpet, Caesar Neron. Wow, what a handsome man. So put together. So well done. I mean, look at him. He's impeccable. Every man on the planet would love to be him, to be in his spot. Such a magnetic character. You have to love this man. He's, what he's done for the world, I mean, what a genius. I tell you, season they on. There's none other like him, nor has there ever been or will there be again. I have a surprise for you, Jesse. Daniel. Daniel, you okay, Daniel? Yeah, I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. What did they do to you? They, they tortured me, Daddy. I love good work, and I love seeing good work done. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, 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 nope. Down, boy. Down, boy. Down, boy. There'll be plenty of time for that later. I can kill your son at any time. And if you don't, if you don't do what we say, we will kill him. Don't fuck with me. Listen to me. You don't do what we say, he's dead. Don't fuck with me, people. Don't mess with us. The game's already started. Listen, you will pay for this a thousand times. And you know what's going to happen to you, bitch. Oh, please, I know my destiny. Hey, keep your fucking dog away from me. Keep him away from my son. Keep him away from my fucking family. I've had enough of you people. I know my destiny, DuVernay. Do you know yours? Yeah. Good. The game's begun. Daniel, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Oh, my God, what did they do to you? They tortured me. I've had enough of you people. You don't fuck with my family. This isn't over. You do what we say, or he's gone. You'll pay for this. Don't you dare touch him again. Gone. Hey, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Daniel, what'd they do to you? They tortured me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Desiree, it's my supreme pleasure to introduce you to my accountant, Matthew. Desiree. My medical doctor, Luke. Desiree. I'm finally glad to meet you, Desiree. Mr. Neron, Mr. Sism Neron, look what we got for you. Excellent work. Excellent. You can't ask me. What is the meaning of this? Desiree. You shut up. Sorry, guys. Shut up. Please keep them. Desiree, we have three of your ladies now. We have your son. You will do what we say. Or they're gone. Don't they're do it, Des. Shut up! They're all gone. You will do what we say. That's your insurance. 
That's your bargaining chip. You take that away, there's nothing between me and you. But it'll be a lot of fun to take them away. Be a lot of fun to kill your son while you watch. I every, take great pleasure in that. Every last scream. Every last whimper. I will enjoy listening to both of yours. It is natural medicine. <laughs> Desi, my medicine. You get pleasure, you get addiction, and best of all, prosperity. <laughs> Have you seen what money can do for you, Desi, if you have all this? But no, you chose your little life, fool. <laughs> don't worry, you're going to die soon. Too long. You guys don't see it? You're the patsies. According to the prophecy, the beast and the false prophet have to die. He's substituted you. And the devil has to be bound for a thousand years in hell, the abyss. And she's substituted you. You guys are the patsies. You've been played like a violin. This can't Okay, 10 seconds away is functioning, correct? Yes. Now remember, Desiree will be here. She's going to make a speech. It's being beamed to the entire world. If she says one thing that's out of turn, and I mean one thing, hit that delay button and shut her down. We don't want any of her hogwash going out to the entire world. One thing, hit that button and shut it off. Oh, yes. Okay? Understood? Absolutely. Done. You understand? Yes. This just in. Caesar Neron has captured that Desiree Dubonnet at the party, and she's going to bring her there to be humiliated, as she should be, in front of a live audience. Hmm, can't wait to see that one and bring that to you later. She'll finally get her comeuppance and get what she deserves, that creature. Come on, girls, I found him. He's in this way. Daniel! Oh my God, oh my God. Daniel, are you right? Yeah, oh. Can you stand up? Uh, oh, there you go. We're here for you. Okay, take it slow. It's all right. You're going to be oh, okay. It's okay. Thank God we found you. Oh, oh my Lord. Come on. I'll get you out of here. Come on, hurry. Reginald Compton from Sky News reporting. Friends, are we having a good time? Now, of course, the entertainment for this evening, the demise, the destruction of Tessera Dubinet.
great pleasure for me personally and for my whole nation and my people to be on the side of who we now know is the angel. This way. I don't think so. Hey. And this is where you stop. Stop. Stay. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me, boys. But I know so. Danny, I need some healing energy. There, there. The backing up backstreet boys. <laughs> no. The forces that we see in the battle of Armageddon are no longer representing the world. The beast. I've always said, you have always loved that Desiree. What a great gal. I mean, such style. She's the best thing that's ever come down the pipe since the milking machine. I tell you, what would the world be without Desiree Dubonnet? So graceful. Such an elegant woman. I tell you, she's an angel sent from above. And that season near on, well, there's no words to quite describe that now, is there? Hmm, what people think, what people hope. Everyone was disappointed about that one, the scourge of the earth. How dare he come in here like he's God's gift, when actually he's the devil in disguise. Well, good evening. It's Reginald Compton here, once again for Sky News. And what a dramatic turn of events has happened this evening. You will not believe your eyes. It was absolutely incredible. I must say that Caesar, the great Caesar, has met his Ides of March. Armageddon is over, and we owe it all to Desiree. Desiree has saved us from Armageddon, and we're all going to be getting very happy very soon. Now, I must say that I knew that this was going to happen, that, that I'd been forced to maybe slant the news slightly, but I made a bet with Dean Story from GNN, and he owes me, because I was right about Desi, ten pounds, and that's English pounds, not Egyptian pounds. <laughs> so, Dean, wherever you are, you Yankee moron. <laughs> Cheers, we're back. Thank you, Desi. We love you madly. Absolutely, it's over. We can relax, have time, some peace for a change. Much appreciated. Here's to you. Desiree. Well, folks, it's Dean's story once again, giving you the new story of the year. Season Neuron is down. Desiree Dubonnet is up where she belongs. Desiree saved the planet once again. If it wasn't for Desiree, we'd all be in deep problems. But Desiree once again has saved the Earth. We should all be grateful. We should all learn from her lessons. We should all take this to heart and be seriously grateful and thankful. And as my co-correspondent, Roger, from Sky News, is wont to say, Mother Earth shall be healed. This has made me so happy to see this. Share with the joy, everybody. Be grateful. Hail Desiree Dubonnet! Revelations 19, 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets that wrought false miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. 
They both were cast alive into the lake of burning fire with brimstone. It's absolutely fabulous, I must say. Right, right. <laughs> Caught your broadcast, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I got you on that one. You know what? You were so drunk, you called me Roger, and my name's Reggie. <laughs> that's not that I called Marge, too. <laughs> hey, that's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> that's right, I like the old bitch, bro. All right, let's get on to Desi, though. I must say that uh, she saved us once again. I tell you, fantastic woman, isn't fantastic, she? Fantastic. Tell you, what was All the along, I told you. I yeah, told, I told you. you. No, I told you. I told you. No, I told you. Oh, I is... know the woman. I've known her for years. Well, what do you think? I just uh, actually, you have known her more than I have. But you know, you owe me ten pounds. I'm sure. Ten pounds, twenty pounds. I tell you what. Well, you know what? There you go. Ten pounds. All right. Let's get more. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the great season <laughs> start. What was that all about? I must say, scanning your yeah. body for money. It's sick, it's twisted, it's perverse. What do you think they're going to do with Caesar? Oh, I don't know, and I don't really care, you know. I think the man should be shot. Do you think it's over? You think we're safe, or...? Uh... I hope we're safe. As long as Des is around, I do believe we probably will be safe. That's a good point. It That's is good rather. Point. I think she'll save us from whatever comes by. I hope so. Let's... Cheers. Or as you Americans would say, get drunk. Here's the Sky News. This is Sky News, and here's to GNN. Excuse All the best me, to everyone in the room, anyone who can hear our voices. We're back in business. Here's to Desiree Dubonnet. Yeah, here's to Desiree Dubonnet. Tell it like it is, man. No more bullshit like we were telling. They made us tell those lies. The truth is here, and there's the beer. Let's go. Hi, no, 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 no problem. We came to help you. Sure? Yes, we sure. Peace? Shut the door. You guys have been trying to kill me for a long time. Now? You guys have been trying to kill me for a long time. Now you expect me to believe that uh, everything's okay? The drop companies are pissed with you. The born again is on your side. You guys gonna help me fight the devil? Of course. Okay. Yeah! <coughs> Good evening. Reginald Compton. Sky News, reporting from the Sinai. Well, I'm sure you've been following the extraordinary events that took place last night, and I'd like to give you an update right now as to how the situation is. Well, Caesar Neron is gone. He is no more. The company is defunct, completely gone, thanks to Desiree Jubilee. We have found out the truth about this evil man who was, in fact, the beast, the Antichrist. And thanks to Desiree's efforts, the armies of the world are standing down. There is peace for the time being. Unfortunately, Satan herself has escaped to Mount Sinai, that cradle of religion where it all began so many millennia ago. But fear not, because Desiree is in hot pursuit of this devil, this dragon, this serpent, this... Satan. More news as it happens, as always. Reginald Compton, the Sky News, reporting from the Sinai. Well, 
Here we are again in Sinai. Dean Story here for CNN News, and it's a brand new day. Uh, praise the Lord and praise Desiree. It is a grand day. Desiree, as you know, last night has taken out, but taken out, the Caesar Neuron Corporation and that devil, that devil, the Antichrist Caesar Neuron himself. And most importantly, Today we have a message from Desiree for all of you out there because Desiree wants everyone to know how to detect these geeks, these lizards, these less than humans. First, the psychopathic style that they are, that they will kill children and people. Secondly, that greed is the most important thing that they have. They can't share, they can't allow anyone else to have anything. Thirdly, that they can't manage their anger, that they have no way of forgiving anybody, and most important, that they're easily led because they believe in teachers. They don't believe in the teachings. So don't be misled by any of these people. If you find people that match these four qualities, turn away from them. Turn towards peace and harmony, and be grateful for the lessons and the gifts that Desiree has brought to all of us. Thank you, Desiree. I'm so glad because I really thought the end of the world was here. More news as it happens from the Sinai. This is Dean Story signing off for today. Thanks for watching. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. I was supposed to come from the sky, you say? Don't worry, I'll catch you. Are you sure? Come on. I got the chain. Okay, you're gonna catch me. You Don't right. be shy, I'll catch you. Hey. Drum. I jump from the sky, here it comes. All right. Good girl. Catch me! Look at those pretty clouds. Wait a minute. Was I supposed to do something here? Oh! Uh-oh. Healing energy. I'll give you healing energy! Oh. Tickles. As it says in the Bible, Revelations 20, And I saw an angel come down from the heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, Satan, bound that lizard for a thousand years. and find the devil. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Oh, oh, it's a long way down. Oh, no. I thought I could sneak up on it. Let me show you my power. Oh, get off her, you bitch. Oh, no. oh. Hey, what do I do? What? How do I get up here? Move your ass. Here, I have you. Come on! Uh, ah. Thank you. Your angel has no power here! Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank 
beginning of time. some more healing energy, but wait, something's missing. Oh! Ooh. Okay. There you go. I'll give you a head. Here. Wait, wait, where does it go? Oh, here. Okay, okay, wait a minute, okay. Okay. Locked what in. the? Good. Locked in. Oh. Alright, I'm giving you some more healing energy. You feel it? Healing energy. Oh, wow, wow. Oh my God. Where do I go? Oh, oh well. I'll tell you. I think that I can. Ah, oh, no, take that. Ah. 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 Go. Come on. Come on. Here's some more healing energy. <laughs> Girl, guess what I'm giving you again? Healing. You need some healing. So, there you go. Alright. How's your neck? How's your... Oh, nice. Come on! Energy! I give you more healing energy! Oh, nice. Come on, we need a little more. There you go. Oh. That should be enough for now. Oh my god. You can do it. Come on. Do not embarrass me. You know, you all look alike. No, we don't. Come on, what do you mean? I'm, I look so much better than him. What are you talking about? I'm the handsome one. Ariel, what are you doing? She has to do this on her own. Oh, busted. W were you watching? You can be her coach. But you can't get on the playing field. Uriel, what are you doing? The same thing. She has to do it herself. You know. Michael, what are you doing? I told you. Humanity must learn to manage their problems on their own. But, but we were just giving out healing energy. We can only watch. But not interfere. We are deep spell. You can't stop <laughs>
Desi. Desi. Wake up. God? That you? Uh, uh, they're too big. Oh, what can I... I've given you special powers. Clarity of mind. What? Mm, oh. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You couldn't give me, like, super strength? Uh, this is a very special okay. power. Clarity okay. of mind. You can defeat anybody. And Get you up. can defeat the devil. Okay, if you say so, I'll give it a shot. And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Desi! Oh my god! Day, day! Desi! Oh my god! Dubonet, you are just a thing. You cannot beat me, my demons. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. You know that the prophecy is that I throw you into the abyss for a thousand years, you know that. I'll make a deal with you. I'll go into the abyss with you, okay? You will go abyss with me for a thousand years. Yes. That will be a great time fucking game. A thousand pure take that deal. Oh, no, please, don't go! No, please, don't go! No, please, go, please. A thousand years of Desiree. And I will have our and And die with her power. I will go into the abyss with you. Okay, here's the key. Key to the abyss. It opens up into the eternal abyss. He needs a hand. I said I'd go into the abyss. I didn't say I'd stay. Hey. In a thousand years, she's gonna be pissed. Sealed for a thousand years. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. There were loud voices in heaven. And they said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of heaven. But him that has an ear, let him hear. Become one of the ten million voices, one of the angels circled round the throne. A hundred million angels you shall see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Revelations 22. The leaves of the trees and the flowers of the field will be the healing of the nation's people. This will come to pass. It is done. 
I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. For as John testified in the book of Revelation, every man will hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto this evil the lies and the wrongdoings, then God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away the harm and evil, God shall spare him from the things which are written in this book. For God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Listen. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. At the end, there were voices of ten million angels heard round the throne. I heard a voice like thunder, it shouted, come and see. I saw a rider on a white horse, hell bent on conquest. Then I saw a black horse, its rider holding a pair of scales. I heard him say, a quart of wheat for a day's wages, but do not damage the oil. Then I saw a fiery red horse, its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and make men slay each other. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> so throughout history, Juneteenth has been known by many names. Jubilee Day, Freedom Day, Liberation Day, Emancipation Day, and today, a national holiday. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Madam Vice President. I just want to take this opportunity to talk about one of the most incredible people that ever lived, Desiree Dubonnet, who has really changed the world through natural medicine, through her insight and her dedication. From now on, we are making June 19th, Desiree's birthday, a national holiday, so that everyone can remember the work of this great human being. I'm about to sign into law the basic doctrine that will make Desiree Dubonnet's birthday a national holiday for the rest of time. It's my birthday. I'm gonna wear what I like, I'm gonna do what I like, I'm gonna go where I want, it's my birthday. I could be your angel, dear. Would you wake up if I asked you to wait? It's a pharmacological fact that uses synthetic anything as an insult to the body. That means any type of drug, etc. All these patented compounds, they're an insult to the body. And we must learn to break ourselves free from the tyranny of the ultra-rich. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> 